Hi guys, my name is Rachel, and this little guy is named Pickles. He's here to help me give out the proper checklist before homing one of his brothers or sisters. Number one, plenty of fleece. I cannot express how much fleece we go through on a weekly basis. I made my own bedding, but I made sure to stitch the layers inside out so that he doesn't get his feet stuck in the stitching. Oh, and this is a bonding scarf. Super useful for cuddling and helping your little guy trust you more. Number two, wheel and litter. I use a Carolina Storm wheel, and they're much more silent and safer as they don't have any holes or notches anywhere on the surfaces. The litter is a dust-free pine horse pellet that I got from the local farming store here in town. Number three, proper bathing and weight tools. These poor little potatoes are prone to dry skin. They need monthly baths with tear-free oatmeal soap and weekly or bi-weekly oatmeal baths to keep their bellies nice and soft. Number four, food. I think this is the most complicated part because hedgehogs require a mixture of a few things. So it's important to do your research on crude fat and crude protein percentages. Number five, warming lamps. A CHE lamp set is crucial for survival. Keeping this around 71 to 75 degrees is ideal. Don't let your tiny one hibernate or they could get sick or worse. Finally, a cage. These guys need a minimum of 40 inches of running space. Keeping your hedgehog contained in anything smaller is just mean. You wouldn't live in a closet yourself, so don't make them. Please do your research. This only covers the basics of what it really means to become a hedgehog parent, but believe me, if you can jump through these hoops for your spiky potato, you will be dedicated for life.